Where do you sacrifice babies? Let's not talk about it. That Freemasons are agents of reptilites. Freemasons rule the world. I understood everything. By the way, women are not allowed in the Masonic Lodge. Now if something happens to me, you know where to find me. In parts. Who runs the world is the great architect of the universe. I think I found a tool for torturing babies. Yes. Today, we have the most ordinary room tour, nothing unusual, just a review of a real Masonic Lodge and a real 33rd degree Mason next to me. Are you a real Mason? Yes, for the last 30 years. I have been writing my doctoral dissertation at this time and choosing a topic that really interested me. How informal ties abroad affect the development of a particular political position. The professor says to me, including Freemasons? I say, and Freemasons? Would you like to become a Freemason yourself? I was surprised. I say, yes, I want. Therefore, curiosity led me to Freemasonry in 91st. Who initiated you? I can give his name. This man was from the teaching staff of the Institute. We are with you in the temple. Am I right? Yes, it can be called it. Can already be given a temple, because ritual work is still being carried out here. The symbols depicted on the wall are the moon and the sun, from the point of view of alchemy, the beginning of a great work. The moment when there is a purification from all the lowest, the worst in a person. That is, the creation of the old Adam. Because it is then that a person can achieve success in creating a philosopher's stone. The Philosopher's Stone is not just an object that allows you to make gold out of lead, but which prolongs life, which makes it prosperous, happy. But this should be done by a person who got rid of all the bad things. The moon and the sun. I know that Freemasonry and esotericism are very close topics. Close, but for 300 years there was a branching and gradually still alchemy and astrology moved to one side and Freemasonry continued to exist as a direction accessible to the average layman. Because alchemy is difficult, people devoted themselves to the study of chemistry, poisons and esoteric things. Jupiter was established in 5997. So you have some other countdown? We add up to 5000 more. This is accepted in the symbolic lodge. By the way, you noticed an unusual standout. The history of the standard was created by Russian immigrants in France in Paris in the 20s. Then it was presented by one of the brothers of the Grand Lodge. You know what I noticed? You have a lot of great things. A great master, a great lodge, a great speaker. You attribute the word great to almost every term. Why? This is a very good question. We don't suffer from megalomania. When in 1517 the first four lodges united, they called themselves the Grand Lodge. That is the Grand Lodge, but if you translate the Grand Lodge correctly, but then in the 18th century the term big and great were synonymous. The word great was used to mean large, voluminous in size. And now, of course, it sounds strange. Some group of people gathered who declared themselves great. Is the interior design of the lodge an approved design project, fixed by any general regulations? A separate project was created specifically. It was discussed for a long time. Everything is though out to the smallest detail here. Even the ropes that you see, this infinity notch, they are also called finish. This is also an element of the design of the temple. The main color, except white, is red for the Freemasons. Columns also matter. They are columns of beauty, wisdom and strength. The chest floor is a symbol of black and white, which exists in our life. The length from west to east is also about this. The purse is depicted to collect donations for the benefit of the poor. Freemasons do a lot of charity work, and here sits the treasurer. He has the symbol with keys. He collects contributions officially. Does your organization have a bank account? There is also an account, and we're officially registered. There is an address, a charter that is registered with the Ministry of Justice.
What makes a mason a mason? We have a very good phrase that was born back in the 18th century. A person should be free and of good morals. Free. That is, he should not be oppressed by any big problems. He should not be in debt. He should not depend on his master. So an ordinary office clerk can become a Freemason? Why? Unless, of course, he swore an oath to perform all duties, holding on to the owner's pants, then of course not. And if this is a normal person who is going to make a career, who is developing, not everyone immediately becomes a general. Does a person's income have any effect? You know, quite calmly with this question, from the point of view of an ordinary Freemason. I will surprise you if I say that in America the annual fee in the fraternity is from $50 to $100. For the United States, this is not money, quite lifting for any person who is going to join the Brotherhood. These are not some super high incomes, these are not oligarchs. And if an oligarch turns to you, will you accept him as a mason? If he is free and of good morals, yes. We have had cases when we refused admission to people very wealthy, sometimes very influential. In any church, the elements of the room have their own canonized names. Are they in masonry too? We have an east on which the leaders of the large sit, the venerable master. In front of him there is an altar. On the altar there are sacred books. I want to emphasize that for mason, faith in God is obligatory. We are often called atheists, sometimes even satanists. There is not necessary faith in God. Therefore, you see three sacred books are located. Because if there are people of different faiths in the lodge, then their sacred books should be presented. If only Christians have gathered, only one Bible remains. Everything is on the altar because it's on the altar that the oath is pronounced. So that there are no discrepancies, we call the supreme being who directs the whole world the great architect of the universe. The great architect of the universe means the supreme being who created this world. Where are you sacrificing babies and virgins? Were there any virgins there too? Good idea, we need to discuss this with the brothers. When you are engaged in self-improvement, thoughts already leave both virgins and babies. Besides, women are not allowed in the lodge. This is a purely male community. Am I breaking the laws now? Ritual work is not allowed by tradition, because there are men's conversations, there is male communication and in order not to be distracted by beautiful women, not to think about mundane things, we prefer that women are not present at ritual work. Feminists pay attention. Maybe it's worth lobbying for the interests of women in masonry? There are women's lodges. They're in France, England. I think I found instruments of torture of babies. Yes, that's it, I confess. Film it. It should not have been shown. It's not for babies. It's an attribute that is used during the initiation of first degree. I will not tell you the details, but this is for an adult who, moreover, when he passes through this subject, he is supported by his elbows so that he does not fall and stumble. These are such obstacles on the way to the brotherhood. Let's not talk about it. Well, do you still have secrets? Of course. Where did you leave me? Come back. We have secrets. Our society is not secret. They say there are about 4 million masons in the world. From 2.5 to 4 million. Most of all in America. The country is large and the traditions of masonry that begin with the foundings of the USA. It is no coincidence that the first president was a mason. There is England in which 250,000 Freemasons. Can I go there? Yes, please. Cool. By the way, when they equipped the interior with furniture, they took sketches of the main temple. For example, these chairs. A battle sword? No. By the way, this is a gift from a great master. It is made with a sinuous blade. It is a symbol of spiritual power. It is a symbol of material power. Can I sit down? Please. Wow, guys. This is the place of the great assistant of the great master. Assistant to the great master. On the left hand of the great master. Well, the feeling is interesting. In fact, the chair is narrow. Masons are people who watch their figure. The sensations are pleasant. Primarily from the fact that it is wood. Natural wood. And you can feel it. 
and all the furniture here is not veneer at all. It is solid wood. Yes, everything is made by the cabinet maker to order. That's it. Now I can tell everyone that I was in the Grand Lodge and sat on the left hand of the Great Master. And still, will you show me where you sacrifice babies? <sighs> Let's go show you. The Royal Ark chapter, it is dedicated to the legend of the reconstruction of the Jerusalem Temple. That is, the construction of the Second Jerusalem Temple. Therefore, here you see the standards of the Jewish tribes. Here you see the symbols associated with that era. Hold it! Mmm, they gave me a scepter. And this is the mantle of one of the principles. Can I keep it? I'm a woman and I'm not a mason. Well, let me keep. Such a responsibility. Are we breaking anything now? No, I understood everything. Now, if something happens to me, you know where to find me. In parts. Oh, only the skull. And you are interested in skulls. You have skulls everywhere. Mine is unlikely to interest you. It doesn't have the best configuration. Rituals of Masons. There are a lot of rumors, legends. Can we uncover anything? I can tell you anything. I can only say that in the temple where we were, rituals are held related to initiation to the degree of a disciple, to the degree of an apprentice. A higher degree than we are now in the chapter house of the Royal Arch. Initiations to higher degrees are held here. Pickaxe and shovel and all this symbolizes the excavation, clearing and then the construction of the walls of the new Jerusalem temple. The Bible is for swearing oaths, geometric figure symbolizes architecture. Here we see six lamps around the altar. The altar is covered with a cloth so that the initiates do not see the sacred image. We open it only when starting ritual work. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you, Valeria, for your visit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your impressions in the comments. That's it.